and today we are here with rumba musicality better said rhythmicality yeah so we will gonna continue the topics which we did in the other dances we did it till now in the samba and in the cha cha we were gonna continue today in the rumba um, yes, so I think it's... Uh, Actually, it's pity that we are doing rumba because we have no more state. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, but we will transfer a lot our weight. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we will going to try to do the best out of it, yes. Um, for sure, rumba is again a dance which has its roots in Cuba. Yes, comes from Cuba, especially if we speak about the rhythm. Yes, if we speak about the music which is played. Of course, today we have to be a bit flexible. Why we have to be a bit flexible? Because fortunately or unfortunately, the rumba music which is played today in our style of dance is developed in such a melodical um, structure that often we do not have that much rhythm inside of it. Yes, which of course, from one side it's a pity, but from another side we love it very much, okay? So we have a lot of songs in the competition which have such a great melodical pattern, uh, such great singers which are, sing it, which are singing it, but that conga rhythm is not there often. Uh, I think we come back to that sentence, let's be the slave of the music first and after that, we can, the music can be our slave, let's say. So this is why we will start with the roots, okay? If Christina wants to say something to this, what I said, she is open to say. Yeah, generally, I think to coming back, because I think many of you knows that we were in Cuba and we try to feel that atmosphere that they have and we try to apply actually in our dancing. And actually, yeah, we had a not really good experience with our Roomba there <laughs> because uh, probably actually because in that time we didn't really use that rhythmicality inside of, of our bodies also in Roomba because normally we knew that in Samba is clear, in Jive is clear, in Cha 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 is clear but in Roomba for us it was so tenuto and long and constant. Ballet, lyric, uh, yeah. storytelling. So and uh, <laughs> And now comes the bomb. Christina and then we dance that in front of the Cuban people, and actually we receive really non, no applause for our dance. Actually, we were not, like even, not even attention. We <laughs> yeah, we were like a, bit, a bit disappointed. And then next year we decided to dance samba, and it was good. But probably if we would go now to dance our rumba, they would like it because so. we learn something which music has and this is actually very important why we are so much pushy about the musicality because it's it's o not only feels good when you use it but it also attracts people to watch it and enjoy your dance for sure it is like this the message when we speak about pure latin american dancing and pure latin american music the message is much more simple is feeling good with movements in the music. Their message generally is that. Now, it developed in a European style in such a way that everything needs to have a story. So we're telling story. We are together and then we are apart, which, of course, is quite European. If it's bad or wrong, we don't even want to question it because it, the way it develops in the way how the people see it in Europe, and it's totally fine. But, of course, it implements a lot of lyrical music Yes, music which has probably more melodical instruments, yes. And conga, which is actually the main instrument in the, in the rumba, is not really a lyrical instrument. I mean, it plays It always has that half-beat conga rhythm, yeah? And, and probably also the difficulty is that we are dancing on the straight legs. Exactly. And then we have that somehow, it's like, we have something from the music which is given to us, but uh, yeah, in a way, it's built not really for for the for the. I think we have to go more. Close. Yes, it's not really built for the music which is playing. Yeah, because for sure our movement is built much more on the bass line, and if we think about the bass line, the the bass line is going on one, 
on three and on four, in some cases, in other cases on one and three, four. So if you hear something like tum, tu tum, 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 tu tum, 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 tu tum, 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 tu tum, tum, tum. So the two is not even existing, yes? Now, in the background of it, normally the conga is playing. And now we come, I think we will start with the first rhythm. And this is the rhythm of the basic step. The rhythm of the basic step starts in the music with the one. We do not have a one as a step. We dance for one, we don't have the one step. For one, two, three, four, 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 one. So basically one is not really existent. If we were gonna take, doesn't matter which figure, we will not never gonna have a step on one. So we start with the four one. Four one two three four one two three four one two three four alemana two three four one two three four one two three four one yeah now this is it how we I, I think that actually in the basic yeah, I don't want to be wrong but as I, I remember from my knowledge somehow that one is it needed actually to be danced when you start the choreography like also in cha-cha-cha also in the rumba but after is only the first in after the introduction normally I remember because it's the it musical was. accent beside the fact that normally we have a conga there also the bass line the bass yes it's playing the strongest tum tu tum 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 to not existent tu tum 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 and three four one yeah um, we what we do we are dancing this one in the body so we emphasize the body because we are Latin American music and we dance that one in a similar way like other dances dance off beat. So for example, if we dance together, okay, let's do the basic step. So we have four, one, two, and three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay? So, the thing with that is, people will gonna speak about should we make a step or should we make a body action? I think we can even think about that body action, which will gonna emphasize that one which is a strong musical beat, okay? So never, never mind from us, no, not a problem if the music is playing that one so strongly because we were going to do it, but not with a step, but more with the body, okay? This is the first one, yeah? Now we're coming to <laughs> a very important one, which is like conga tumbao in the cha-cha. We spoke about the conga tumbao, respectively about the guapacha rhythm, yes? Which happening always on the second bar, musical bar, yes? We have first musical bar normal, one, two, three, cha-cha, and we have the second musical bar, one, two, and three, cha-cha, okay? Now, in the rumba, we have a similar rhythmical pattern, and it's called syncopated habanera rhythm, yes? Syncopated habanera rhythm, it's a very important one. And this rhythm goes also, uh, one, two, and three, four. 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 Now, the difference between <laughs> rumba and the cha-cha is that the habanera, syncopated habanera rhythm doesn't have a clear pattern. So for example, in the cha-cha-cha, the guapacha bar, it's in the conga tumbao rhythm, always on the second bar of the music. In the rumba, the habanera rhythm can play even on every single bar. So how can we 
how can we use that in our dancing? And now we come to a very, very nice thing. Because the steps are built that we have a step on the two, on the three, and on the four, one no step, okay? But with our body, we can emphasize and free from the, in the music, yes? So we can emphasize the end free in the body. And in our choreographies, what we can see generally, that the changing of directions are danced generally on the second beat, yes? So it doesn't matter what we do. For example, you go four, one, two, we change the direction. 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 So basically, a changing of direction, I mean, of 180 degrees. Yes, a check, for example, ch uh, check forward dog changes 180 degrees. So the same is actually with this habanera. But very often, probably, the youngsters always put themselves this question in the mind. Why, can I, why can I, uh, can't I dance my body fully on the two? Like, for example, Full weight transfer, you know, probably in the sliding doors, you know this, yes? Two, three, four, one, okay? And there comes the thing. <laughs> because in the music, in a habanera rhythm, it's emphasized and free. So I think we should be fast on the two and dancing and free towards the backward, towards, uh, towards the, the, the step, the free. So if we dance, for example, together, and we go four, one, two, and three, 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 four, one. OK? So in this case, I think we'll be very easy from a musical point of view to learn how to lead and follow. Because if the boys are not spending, the, if the male dancers are not spending time to present themselves on that too, but are actually trying to redirect, to dance that habanera in the body and free, then the lady will gonna shine. Even if the lady is not really dancing a habanera on her own, yes? There's often the lady is delaying that one. So if we come, for example, into this check forward walk, we were going to show it from this angle. We're going to dance four, one, two, a fast placement, two, and three, four. So you see, Christina is placing a very late three. But the man is dancing two and three, four. And also the three will going to be really a tenuto, a hold articulation a long articulation to the four again, which is very striking, striking very strong. Second, I also, for example, not dancing. I go two, two and three, three and four, four yes? one. But the boy, if you watch it also from the backside, one, two and three and four. Because one. again, I have to walk yes. forward, so it will be a little bit yes. strange that I four break the one. flow. So two I go, and I go, three I and go. Four but it's very nice to have it here. The check. Two, and, and three, three four, four, one, yes? And it's and three, four, one, yeah? One, two, and three, four, one. And like this, we will be so active in our body that we will gonna manage to what? We will really gonna manage to use the music and moving, like what we had, we had this long topic about move to lead. You move, you lead, yes? Moving in the right time in the music, of course, regarding this, what the music is playing, would be a great idea. Because somehow, the boy will be slightly moving faster than the lately, sli slightly. And this will gonna make this figure shine, yes? So for example, if we will gonna try to dance really like a Czech, um, like a fan, the fan position, yes, and we're gonna try to not wah, but we will have that two and three, four. So you feel that from the lady one more time. Two and three, four. 
That is the moment when the boy two and and three connects and three four. Yeah. And I think it's a great idea, especially if it's done on the proper body uh, coordination. With the proper body coordination, we're going to blossom. Yeah. And uh, of course, it will be rhythmical also because it has a pattern. It has, uh, let's say, a great pattern in the music. Yeah? Um, it's not sleeping in a way, or let's say, it's not dreaming. Two, three, four. But I think, again, I'm very sure, yes, I'm sure actually, very sure you're going to say sure, <laughs> that by thinking this way, and three, and three, it's not two and three step. You connect always that and free, and free, and free. As a leader of 180 degrees changing of directions, probably not always, but in majority of the cases, I think will be a great choice. So this is what the music is giving to us. I think it's a, it's a good thing, yeah? Uh, we will gonna, later on, we will gonna hear a lot of examples with that. Uh, now, I think, we will going to come to the main rhythm. You remember, we, we presented you several rhythms in every dance. Probably not all, for sure not all, but several rhythms, this which we think for us are the most important and which are uh, present in the music. So if we were going to have to choose the main rhythm for us in rumba, we're going to be the half-beat conga rhythm, yes? The half-beat conga rhythm is very simple, it goes and one, and two, and three, and four, 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 yes? So it's basically the way how the conga plays, yes? Unfortunately, I do not have that talent of singing, so I cannot really sing with Bit the box. tongue or the, to beatbox the conga, okay? But this is not a problem because we were gonna hear now soon, actually now I think already, try to hear this pattern in as many songs as possible, okay? So let's have a try with the music. intro we were just gonna listen that melodical intro just a You see, even this great song, this great piece of music, was not only about the conga. The conga was a, accompanied from the a great voice, yes. It was also helped from a, a great melodical line, yes. About this we didn't speak. Probably we were gonna have also time to speak about the uh, melody. Background. The background, yes, <laughs> melodical background. But it's there, it's playing there, and it's always keeping that, giving that pattern, which probably make us feel it's a rumba, okay? Let's see some other pieces. Hopefully I find one with not 
that much melodical, uh, not that much conga, hopefully, probably even a beautiful one. But let's try to, to hear as many as possible. A great one also, let's see. This would be a nice one, very famous. So hopefully you could hear it. We can go on and on and on, and we will gonna get great rumbas which have it. I think if I would knew that when I was like really small, I would not be bored for a rumba. <laughs> because normally I liked only the fast dances. <laughs> no, that, that, yes. But if you dance all these uh, congos, then it's but, much more interesting. It, has that, yes? it gives that flavor to the dancing, yes, for sure. So let's do some steps which will gonna help us emphasize that part of the music, that uh, half beat conga rhythm. It's exactly called like that, so I think will be a great one. And then we will go on with explanations to that. Because, you know, this conga is a big family of congas. These are drums, yes? So they all play a little bit different. We will probably not gonna go in details about the names of it because it's not a, a musical lesson, <laughs> but a music lesson, but we will gonna speak about how we can emphasize this, what they play in the music, yes? So, um, if we speak, we, it was starting with the left or with the right? Uh, uh, which one exactly? Uh, left. Good, left. So we have four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one. Till here was very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> and two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Continue. And two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Till here. One more time. One more time till here. Let's go. And two, three, four, one, two, three, Four, one, three, two, four, one, four, two, four, one, one, two, four, four one, one, two, two, four. I'm counting the bars. Yeah. Two, four, one, four, two, four, one, three, four, four one, two, two, three, four, four one, two, three, four, four one, two, three, three, four, one. one. We continue. We have two sliding doors. Girls, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one spiral, two, three, four, one, till here. Okay? One more time from the middle part, from slide and door. Yes. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four. Stop. Here we can start from the beginning, actually. Yes. First. Then we yes. will do the second part, okay? So, uh, the sliding doors, just as a small uh, tip. hint, tip, yes? The first one we can dance normally. The second one would be great if we can dance it diagonally. Uh, probably yeah, cucaracha, no, cucaracha diagonally. diagonally. Because we have to turn here to be on oh. one line as we proceed with a spiral. spiral. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we try, for example, we have to think about one stuff. If we think about this conga tumbao half pit rhythm, it's very important to understand that the slap on the two is the most short slap. So basically, they they play the conga, and it happens. And one and. It slaps on the side, yes? This is one thing, yeah? So you go. And one, and, and three, and four. And one, and, and three, and four. And one, and, and three, and four. Actually, this idea emphasizes more this what happened in a Habanera syncopated rhythm. Why? Because the placement of the two Two and three, four, one. Yes. How will gonna? How will the two look in the movement? Probably it, no, it will not gonna have that huge volume. 
it will be a little bit more active, it will be a little bit more striked, a little bit more, I don't know if you direct. can say it, direct or dry, yes? It doesn't have that long flow of a free, for example, which is huge, yeah? Uh, and I think it's very important to listen that one more time, to listen exactly how that two slaps on the side. Let's hear that. So, coming back to the couple dancing, if we try to combine this half conga bit rhythm with the habanera, we will have, of course, in a check forward walk, a fast placement of the foot. Four, one, and three, four, one, yeah? If, you if we think about that, I think we will gonna, uh, we will gonna emphasize both Let's say there will be songs where the uh, syncopated habanera rhythm will not gonna appear that much, yes? But um, there will be songs where this will gonna be there, yeah? But actually, actually, would be nice to speak also about the bass line, because we spoke that the bass appears on one and three, four, or in some cases, one, three, four, yeah? Now, the two remains without a bass line. So the two can have a melodical flow in the back, which can be a piano or a guitar, doesn't matter. In this song, is a piano. But the two remains quite dry on its own. It's not a company, uh, doesn't have a company of a bass line on top. So let's hear that to see exactly in the beginning. We will try to hear now only the bass line. on three and on four, but not on two. So that splash on the two happens without a component of a bus. Splash. Yes, it's like, <laughs> no. Pa, pa, e, three, four, one. Pa, e, three, four, one. Pa, e, three, four, one. Let's see. Pa. I cannot make that sound very loud, so sorry for that. Yeah, anyway. Let's try with other songs to mm -hmm. see. Hmm. 
Hmm. Another great song. It's actually my favorite instrument is a saxophone playing the melody in the back. Not only, also guitar, but great. Let's listen together. The conga first. Ah. Oh. Nice. Now let's hear the bass. So here the bass, for example, is changing. The bass is changing. Sometimes the bass is playing one, is playing three, four. Sometimes I even hear four and one, yes? In the beginning of yes. four and one. Uh, but for sure I didn't hear it on two. And the conga in this song you can hear fantastic, yes? I mean, it's probably a bit more new, the song. So every single instrument, even though it's the same instrument, when the recording of the music is a bit more new, then you can hear it more clear. It's really making like a slap. Actually, I would like to show you something which I'm not allowed, but this is, no, I will do it. This is what the conga sounds like. <laughs> yeah? So exactly there, okay? <laughs> it has that, I don't know how to say, that dry, but it's not, it's the slap on the side. It's like again. also opening the wine. Or opening, but I don't have a bottle of wine, yeah. I'm not allowed. Yes. So it's that slap because it's sidewards, it's given sidewards, okay? So we are coming back again to the, to the steps. And we try with this song to have again that interpretation. But on top of that two, of that slap onto the two, of the how direct the beat is, we will try also to think a little bit about the bass line and we will f try also to think a little bit about the habanera to see with that we can connect two and three, four, one, one and two and three, four, one. Yeah? Because it's like for one, yeah? Let's see that. Important is that we can hear that very well, actually, yes? Three patterns till now, which are quite important, okay? Now, if we were gonna try to make, we just do that. Open hip twist, fan, hockey, hockey stick, just that, okay? And we try to implement that here in the open hip twist, fan, hockey stick, yes? Let's try with the same song, actually.
Yeah. So what would be the opposite of that, probably? Let's not call it a mistake. Let's call it the normal interpretation. Uh, a short free, a long two, for example. Let's see that. <laughs> Okay. So basically like this I'm always making rubato. Yes, I'm stealing. stealing. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. I mean, if we speak about an energy of a choreography, okay? And you really want to pull something so much, totally fine. Just the question is again, where do we come from? The music. If we come from the music or if we want to connect to the music, probably even if we do it, which is great, I mean, we can achieve with some figures which are going like four, one, two, three, and four, yes? We can achieve greatness. We can achieve things what we, as a space, could never achieve probably if I'm dancing directly two and three, four, okay? You can do still like uh, to delay it and three, four. But again, probably I'm not keeping that conga, half beat rhythm, yeah? And uh, how to say? I think it would be nice to know that, to, and I'm sure many problems or many questions will gonna be resolved from itself already. Because by thinking to redirect towards the free, we will not gonna have that problem of, you probably know it all, Yes, this you know it all because we all pass through the same things. You're not redirecting me, you're too heavy. Arm, uh, I don't know, push-pull. <laughs> the push-pull, that is the thing, yes, of the, <laughs> I don't know, of the decade or probably before. Because I'm not redirecting myself and free, for example, two and free, four. I mean, what I should do? I'm staying there, I'm having summer holiday, and then I'm doing the two and three. And then she reacts bad. I mean, it's no wonder that she reacts bad. It's normal. You pull the, the lady like this, or the other way around can be also. The lady is so late, is so late, and then it gets heavy if it's too late, yeah? I mean, this closing of the fan, for one, two, and three, four. Now it was pur I felt purpose I late. Felt. <laughs> I was purpose One more late. time. Do, do correct. <laughs> two, and three, four, yeah? <laughs> Instead of, do the other one. I mean, you know when you want to move a wall and it doesn't work, this is the one. Two, and, mm, you know, heavy. Of course, because but I'm melting there. Because yeah. after you pull me. <laughs> that will gonna be the problem. The problem will gonna be by the women, that generally the men will gonna win. Yeah? So the men wins when it comes to push and pull. <laughs> Always. I mean, beside you, I don't know. You have a lady which is... Uh, we don't have this kind of ladies. No, but I mean, <laughs> doing crossfit, you know, <laughs> world champion or something like that, you never know, yes? <laughs> but generally, let's say, probably 90% of the time, if we speak about that, the boys will gonna take off the lady off from the feet. And it can be a lack of knowledge, a lack of knowledge of music. So hopefully this knowledge will gonna make you have a better understanding to all the stuff, yes? Of course, the best would be to try to do it first into the basic routine side by side and then come close to each other. Now, we will gonna continue after 15 minutes and then we will gonna make a more advanced choreography, which is also side by side and we will gonna present you some parts of our routine or maybe some parts what we dance together, but a little bit more advanced, yeah. okay? Normally do we receive more uh, feedback when we are dancing a lot, so they are always Yes, I know. Sending the message. I know. <laughs> I know. Just, you know, it can be so much interpreted, this dancing, that everybody sees what he wants. But I'm not sure that everybody thinks, knows what we think when we dance. So I think this is the great opportunity also through the Air Dance app to show this what we think when we dance, to explain to you, yes, not only to dance, yeah? So see you in 50 minutes. Have a nice coffee. 
the usual way. The usual way. How we do it home. <laughs>